You know, I expected this from the get-go, but I, I'm receiving some pretty hateful comments from a few people. Considering walking away from poker, walking away from vlogging. What's up? Like I would do that. This has been awesome, you know? I get a lot of constructive criticism on a lot of these hands I've been playing lately. Couldn't be better. Love it. Even the few hateful comments about a bunch of different stuff from a few clueless viewers. Perfect, you know? It's okay to have some criticism and whatnot. It all helps and it's all very much appreciated. Down here at the Evansville Tropicana, about to do the monthly tournament that I said in this video I would not play again due to it being a turbo. But turbo, when I say that in all these vlogs, that's an excuse. Everybody has the same structure, the same amount of time, see the same amount of hands to play the tournament. So I'm not gonna use that excuse anymore. I'm just gonna have, make a lot better decisions than them. We're gonna crush this turbo. It's gonna be awesome. Let's check out this river walk real quick. I wasn't going to do any hand overlays. I was just going to put text quickly over my chip progression with what happened. But I do want you guys to be able to sweat all of my ups and downs. So here they are, the hands of this tournament. There was a lot of chaos. The tournament started late. It wasn't being ran very well by a guy who it was his first tournament to direct. And I admittedly was paying more attention to what all was going wrong than to the happenings at my own table. With that being said, very first hand, small blind, jack nine of spades. We have a limp fest. First hand, I just want to see a flop. With this and the small blind, I don't want to do anything too crazy, so I check. The big blind checks. And we see a jack nine seven two club flop. Two pair right off the bat, you know, with straight draw potentials out there and flush draw. I check. Let's see what everybody else is going to put in. The big blind checks, and a guy in middle position bets out 300. 
it folds around. I call 300 here. A little weak because I am definitely letting flush draws and straight draws get there on the turn. And the big blind had folded as well. The turns are three of spades. Nice little blank. I bet out 700, a little more than half the pot. Because at this point, I don't want to just allow a draw to get there. And he calls the 700. And the river's a three, which is essentially another blank. Unless he flopped a straight with eight ten, which is doubtful in middle position, we're probably good here. So I got, I'm thinking, what can I bet that he will call? And I bet just under half the pot at 1100. He had to think about it, but he did make the call. And he showed jack six, so I got the higher two pair. And he said it was a good bet, so I think if I would have bet a little more, he may have folded. And that's how we like to start off the tournament, winning the very first hand. We're still in the first 20 minute level and I get ace three suited. The under the gun player limps, it folds around to me and I choose to limp here as well. Another weak play on my part. And the small blind and big blind both check. We see a two, four, six, two club flop giving me the nut flush draw and a gut shot straight draw. Small blind, big blind and under the gun check. I bet out 300. The small blind and big blind fold and under the gun makes the call 300. The turn is an ace of hearts, under the gun check. So now I have top pair with a weak kicker, the nut flush draw, and a gut shot straight draw. So I bet 1100, which is pretty much pot. Under the gun then raises to 2500. I don't think he has a straight. He could have a weak ace having a two pair right now. I'm kind of confused by this check raise at first. You know, being under the gun, he could have had a big ace and chose not to raise pre-flop. But would he raise me with a big ace here? With all my draws, I do decide to make the call. I don't think I could have re-raised him here. I'm not really repping much if I do, except for a big ace. And a better hand would make the call against a bigger ace. And we see a three of spades river giving me now two pair. Missed my nut flush draw. He bets 2,000 and there's no value in raising here. Although if I would have raised, maybe he thinks I hit a straight. I don't know what hands he could have possibly put me on that he would think I had a straight. So I just make the call and he shows that he flopped a set of deuces. A few hands later, we get ace queen off under the gun as my stack size is already diminishing. I decide to raise to 300 here. The dealer and the small blind both call 300 and the big blind folds. The flop is 2-9-10 rainbow. The small blind checks. I bet out a little over half the pot, 700. The dealer calls 700. And the small blind goes crazy and bets something like 3,000. It was more than the pot. I think for a short time and just fold it. The dealer folds and the small blind mucks his winner. Okay, it's almost the first break, and nothing else has happened since that first level. Just slowly blinding away to big raises. I get pocket fives in middle position. Played the hand wrong from the get-go. You know, with less than 10 big blinds, I should just shove here with the folds in front of me. Try to pick up the 900 chips, but I don't. I raise 1,000 on top to 1,600. And the couple behind me fold around, and the big blind makes the call of a thousand more. We see a rag diamond flop. The big blind checks. I think about it with my five of diamonds diamond blocker and current pair. What the heck, I'll go all in for no good reason? To only get called by a better draw, or, as it turns out, called by a flopped flush. I would need runner runner to survive the tournament, and I couldn't even tell you what the cards are. I stood up, and it was not runner-runner, and I'm out of the tournament. Officially, the last time I play that Turbo Monthly. And we're out. It was, it was a joke of a tournament. We are saved by the bell during editing. I really liked the beginning of this vlog. The tournament play was very unfortunate. I was so distracted, couldn't get anything going. So instead of letting you listen to me rant about the tournament director and then the dealer mistakes... I want to show you what I just saw. The Horseshoe Southern Indiana will now be having monthly deep stack tournaments at the end of each month. That's phenomenal news. 
finally a tournament I could get behind. Two and a half times the starting stack of the Trops monthly, double the price, more time per level, and a lot better structure with some steps involved instead of just doubling. I don't know if I need a group to challenge some people. There will be nine of these this year, you know, not the month that they have the World Series circuit. But I want to see how I do over the nine. I don't know if I should issue a challenge to people or just a challenge of myself. Do you guys have any ideas? All right, that should bypass this rant. Now let's carry on with the end of the vlog. It doesn't help that I did play terrible. We'll come back, we'll come back strong. I'm gonna take a little break. I got, we got volleyball plans next weekend and other stuff to finish, to start this spring out. Take a little good poker break, come back strong, make these vlogs strong and we'll see what happens you know jump back into some cash games at the hsi try to play some bigger tournaments at some other places you know the circuits and whatnot whatever i can travel to or an mspt if i can make it which unfortunately they're all far away unless they come to evansville now we're going to see how many beers we can drink before my friends notice i'm out of the tournament <laughs> they're playing cash games right now Heading home. Andy was a winner again, a couple sessions in a row. Me and Hager both with the losses. But we're trying to figure out a way to treat ourselves, you know, for some comfort food. You know, we're thinking something like sushi or steak. Hager asks Andy, where should we go to treat ourselves? And Andy excitedly goes, IHOP. IHOP sounds really good right now, but it was hilarious at the time. Mm -hmm. 